Okay, so Byleth has uh, been a DLC character that we actually haven't seen that much of uh, since she came out shortly before the pandemic started. It feels like a lot of the meta for her isn't like super well known yet, but she has some really, they have some really good range overall with the character. But you have to space things super well in order to get that really big reward. Uh, but she does have some moves that have a lot of power, her up smash in particular. And you can't be rolling around uh, Ganondorf like that, unfortunately. Uh, that up smash killing, slightly charged killing at 109. But great DI from, uh, from Neo Vanquisher, just needed to have done that a little bit better. Like, not have rolled through. Being that Nair, man, that puts in a lot of work with this character. <laughs> Oh wow. Crazy good spacing on the down air. Very well done. Gen does stick out his uh, his hand ever, ever so slightly, so if you have like a go destroying move that hits on the ledge, uh, chances are that you will actually hit him if you time it well. And uh, down air is not that easy to time overall, so if you screw that up, you're gonna take you're gonna get hit. Sebastian, after like a pretty strong start overall, like he's falling really far behind. He's got to try to like catch up. And Dash Attack actually taking the match for uh for Neo Vanquisher. No oh, very nice done. Apologies, guys. My uh, commentary will be a little sporadic while I get things set up in um, in early rounds. Uh, just like a lot of stuff going on, and I have to try to make sure that all the issues for early Smash GG rounds are gonna be uh, dealt with. Really good punishes of the uh, the wizard kick. It is a very strong move, and uh, if you do it from certain ranges, it can be unreactable, especially on Wi-Fi. But you got to be careful that your opponent doesn't have a good uh, shield option to punish it, punish you for doing it too. Uh, for doing it too much. All right, see Bass uh, getting back on the stage, re-exerting stage control. He's holding center generally pretty well. However, like he needs to he needs to take the stock and quickly and that up B, yeah. This, uh, that DI was all kinds of sus right there. Yeah, okay, so we're in that. That's good. Yeah. 
and Matthew has a bit of space to catch uh, to, to pick up. He's got to be very careful when he's fighting Violet in particular because uh, Violet does have a really good option, a really good option for uh, opponents that are coming down on top of them and falling up smash. And this is really just turned into a poking game. That up smash, dude, it'll just scoop you from very far away if you're not careful. All right, Tiabat's kind of picking a shot. That's good. You gotta be a little more careful than that, though, dude. That, uh, this character has a lot of range coming off the ledge due to forward air uh, being super disjointed. And it can kill you, too, uh, if you get to sweet spot. Especially starting now, you gotta be uh, super cautious about how you approach it. And Violet's back air, sealing the stock out. All right, so we're even on stocks. Let's see, Bass still holding a pretty decent lead. It can evaporate really quickly, though. This is Smash. One combo will uh, will basically put you at mid high percents. You can see like that little uh, that little ending there, it completely messing up Seabass. And Neo Vanquisher being knocked off stage. Uh, that tether recovery. I'm not sure if it's just that Ganon doesn't really have any good options to deal with it, or if. Uh, or Seabass just doesn't want to risk it, which is respectable. You don't want to overreach. And Seabass taking the second stock. And just like that, he is getting ready to lap uh, Neo Vanquisher in percent. But again, like you see, that Nair is like super disjointed. And a really bad approach will cause you to take a bit of damage from Violet. Uh, Violet doesn't get that much reward, though, overall for landing one of those, but it is something you have to kind of keep an eye out for, because it will, uh, it will keep chipping away at you, and eventually, you'll be at kill percent. Alright, good cross-ups. Playing it smart. You can see, like, Neo Vanquisher just pulling out the bow just to be like, Alright, I got this! I have this bow right here, I'm gonna pull it out, and uh, I'm not gonna fire it most of the time, but the one time I do, you're gonna watch out! As long as like it makes your opponent like pause for half a second, it can be worth it to uh, to do stuff like that. You just do like little animations that are that are gonna make them stop and think about whether you're gonna shoot or not. And see bass with a full stock lead. Uh, Neo Vanquisher's gonna have to be very careful uh, with how he plays his next uh, his next interactions. All right, great forward air below the stage, going super deep for it. But uh, one bad one bad choice. And Seabass going off stage for the first time to try to get a Nair on the tether with him. Not quite connecting though. And now he's got to try to see has to try to see how he's going to close the stock out. But if he's too hungry, uh, he can really quickly lose it, lose the match and the set. Like this, he's just playing super evasively, and that downer was just slightly too late. Uh, we can see like it was, uh, he was at like more or less the perfect position, just a little bit too late on that. Down to almost taking it, not quite though. And just like that, uh, Seabass is on the ledge, he's kind of in a super risky situation, you gotta be careful. He's got to watch out for, for whatever ma- Oh, dude, you know, you overextended too hard! He must have read the fast fall and uh, he just floated above him and then just took the back air. And just like that, uh, we have Neo Vanquisher moving on 2-0. Let's see what we have coming up next. Alright, apologies guys, give me a little bit of a wait while we try to uh, try to find the next set to put on stream. Until then, um, thank you so much for tuning into Xeno Wi-Fi. We do this every single Wednesday. Uh, we're also doing fight clubs every Sunday. And if you enjoy all of this uh, great Smash content, please make sure to like, follow, subscribe on our various social medias, as well as our video platforms, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. You can also join our Discord by going into the chat and doing